This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2022 Wolf Pup travel trailer. The model is uh, model number 16 BHS. Okay, so this is just a how-to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work. Uh, you have obviously you have regular uh, scissor type stabilizer jacks. You have outside speakers. You have a power awning. Okay, uh, you have a TV bracket pre-mounted and you got TV signal out plus power if you want to put a TV there. This is the, the vent for the range hood. So if you're running the fan in the range hood, turn the vent to the outside, you always want to pull this baffle open like it is now so it flaps freely. You can snap and shut if you want when you're traveling or in storage, but when you're venting you need that open. That's your furnace vent there. This is a small refrigerator that you can access from outside. One thing to, to know is the door, like on most, most uh, smaller trailers, the door will um, interfere with the awning arm unless you have it perpendicular. So you want it at a 90 degree angle or, or close to it. So when you open this awning or close the awning, it doesn't get snagged up on the door. So keep that in mind. That's pretty typical. This is your dump hose. This is your, your crank for your uh, stabilizers. And this is a reducer to reduce you from 30 to 20 amps with your power cord, okay? Man, the mosquitoes are, are, are coming alive over here. Holy cow. Um, man. Okay. You have a deep cycle marine battery. You have a uh, 20 pound LP tank. This is your water heater here. Okay, now down here, uh, you can see there's a rocker switch. That rocker switch controls the electric heating element that's behind this cover here. It works on 110 AC, right? That's how you turn that on and off. Now, your gas burner is right here, You're running on gas. And this is your drain plug here. It takes an inch and a sixteenth, six point socket. Plus you need a, like a six, six inch extension too to, to, clear, to clear the, uh, the trailer when you're screwing it or unscrewing it. I'll show you the switch for the trailer is, or for the gas is on the inside. The thing to remember, never run it without water in it. If you, if you drain it like people do, um, and then you're going to go camp again so you screw, screw the drain plug uh, slash anode rod back in, just make sure you fill the tank before you turn it on, okay? All right. Never work on it or drain it or anything like that when it's uh, when the water's hot. Okay. Uh, so th the most common way to get water to the trailer is the city water hookup, um, right? So if you don't have city water, if you're boondocking or whatever, you can fill your water tank, your fresh water tank, right there. You do that, you take the water with you, and then you can turn on the 12 volt pump and pump the water. All the plumbing will work as though you have city water, you just be pumping from the tank, okay? This is just a shower here. It's an outside shower. This is where your power cord hooks up, right here. Your dump valves are right here. So you got gray right there, and then you got uh, black. Black is toilet water and waste, gray is sink and shower water. Uh, let me look around here, see, see if I missed anything. Let me go off back, just to make sure. Okay, all right, so this uh, rack on the back folds up, all right? You, you just use the pins to fold it up or down. Um, this is your power cord, 30 amp, 30 feet long. Okay, it has a... Hey, Kevin! Does this have a backup camera? Okay. Yeah, okay. So this does have a backup camera installed back here. Keep that in mind. Okay. All right, let's look inside. Uh, the reason he left this open, and these, these panels open, so you can see where, uh, where all the plumbing is and how you ac access it. Right now, if you look at the water heater, the back of the water heater, 
it has that blue line that that that's a bypass line that you use during the during the winter time when you when you drain the water out and you put antifreeze into the system but not into the water heater or you can have like it is right now with the the handles pointing into the water heater that means it's set normal camping position right so the blue line is cold water comes in and then it heats up and comes out the red side hot so that's camping mode um, your water pump is right here now this line right here is for winterizing you'll have to educate yourself a bit on it if you don't know this you may know all this but you can see the valve it's you can sort of see it. it's it's on the other side of that line but that's the valve you select use to select whether you can draw water from the fresh water tank or draw antifreeze from a gallon of antifreeze that you would draw through that line so okay right now it's set in normal camping mode so it'll draw fresh water from the water tank okay alrighty another TV mount here and you have um, a TV signal let me see what we got here oh we're not plugged in that's right so you have TV signal out and power for it to hang an antenna there we're not plugged into uh, AC power right now because we're too far from the building um, okay so this this uh, this panel has an app for it that's what the connects all about you can put an app on your phone you can check all your levels up here um, the water heater you can turn it on and off right here on gas remember that I told you for for electricity you can use that switch in the lower left hand corner on the outside for gas you light it there your water pump right here water pump is uh, used to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water it's also used to winterize the trailer uh, your awning switch here for your power awning okay let me see just to make sure he's got keys in here because I haven't I don't see them where they normally should be so I'll check into that you've got a you've got a two burner uh, cooktop here you light it with a with a uh, start just a grill lighter this is your vent or your range hood vent and fan there goes more mosquitoes <laughs> your microwave works like any other microwave your refrigerator is 12 volt DC refrigerator All right make sure you strap it or latch it right there I should say um, your thermostat for your furnace is very simple you click it all the way to the left to shut it off you move it to the right to turn it on but to shut it off you, you want to move it to the left to hear the click uh, your, the controls for your air conditioner are in the air conditioner um, somewhere in here is a carbon monoxide LP gas detector I just have to find it oh here we go okay so this is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector it should always be growing glowing green when you're plugged in or you, or you have your battery turned on now this is your kill switch for your battery you've got it off right now let me see yeah there we go so now I've turned the battery on you see how it lit up there should always be green like that um, and if it's not get it serviced that's the kill switch for the battery like I said it's been off I just turned it on so this device here is your power converter this converts AC to DC power so on this side you have regular 110 AC circuit breakers and they're all labeled just like you had have at home uh, then the 12 volt or 110 AC is converted to 12 volt DC over here you got 12 volt fuses and they're all labeled right so that's where the 12 volt comes from it's also a battery tender so it'll send so much energy your battery up front on the tongue needs and it'll send as many amps necessary to keep it charged so it converts AC to DC power and charges your battery kill switch for the battery um, carbon monoxide LP gas detector now if that goes off you take everybody outside leave the doors open shut off the appliances turn the gas off at the front and figure out what's going on okay sink and shower work like any other um, the toilet itself uh, sits over a black tank right and uh, that's your flush pedal right there so you can't use it dry so when you hook up to your power or I mean excuse me hook up your power in your water when you get to the campground you'll put one dose of chemical right in the bowl then you'll step on the pedal 
water will come out and you'll stand on the pedal long enough for it to put at least a gallon of water in the black tank below along with the chemical then it's ready to be used you can't use it dry if you don't put the chemical in water in there it'll smell terrible plus it'll uh, get clogged up so keep that in mind never run it dry okay so this table can be dropped down the table tie can be dropped down on these cleats here and use the cushions to fill in the space and you got another bed here so you have this auxiliary bed you got your two bunks and um, your main bed now this over here is your your solar controller I walked right past that let me show it to you so this has a solar panel on it I got it in kind of far that's why I didn't see it okay so here we are let me just see what we have here black, black, black. so yeah so you got 12 point uh, uh, 5 volts in the system which is fine right now you see the picture of the solar panel pointing towards the battery so it's charging the battery right now you see the arrows going that way and it's also going from the battery to the lights so you're drawing from the lights so uh, this I don't know if this has an app with it it might uh, this is a used trailer so I don't and I didn't prep it but you can look into it and a lot of times there's a phone app too which allows you to do more with it so that's the solar controller for your solar panel all right I'm glad I saw that I would have I would have uh, not been able to tell you about it you probably would have figured it out yourself though I imagine <laughs> all right so this is the sound uh, so it has a AM FM radio it has a USB drive it has Bluetooth so you can stream wirelessly from your phone or your tablet it has a HDMI in if you want to go into the system with a with anything you can go right in there two speaker zones one and two one is inside the trailer two is outside the trailer um, so it does a lot and this just tells you your voltage again 12.5 just like we I set up front so 12.5 in the system we're drawing from the batteries and using the solar panel right now once it's plugged in it'll probably go to about to 13.5 is usually around where it'll top off okay okay I think that covers it let me look around here yep that should be good okay so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit please remember what I said about I don't know if I said it but <laughs> please remember to uh, um, inspect your roof on a regular basis every every 90 days or so send someone up there to look at the sealant make sure there's no cracking or separation where water could get through look at the roofing material and roofing attachments make sure they weren't damaged by low branches or road debris just you can't see the roof unless you go up there so you wanna go up there as part of your regular maintenance and make sure everything's in good shape okay also uh, as we talked about earlier right now this is in camping mode so all the antifreeze has been purged from the system it's been replaced with uh, fresh water and uh, the wa valves and the water heater are in camping mode and uh, your water heater has water in it right now so you're all set just remember never run the water heater without water in the tank alright thank you